Good evening, everybody. This is the DCN, Camilla Book Nancy II, also known as the Political Agitator. And um, uh, the, the DCN, the, um, the uh, Watchdog of the East, just a few names. However, there are some others that uh, 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 people call me. Uh, I probably can't call them out. But anyway, uh, I'm going live in about one minute uh, to talk about um, this is the real the DC and real talk happenings of uh, uh, the week of September the sixth. So, and, uh, well, I see it's one o'clock now. All right, let's begin. Again, this is uh, Camilla Dancy, Butch Dancy the second, the political agitator, the DCN videographer. Um, uh, photographer, uh, do a little bit of it all. Also work a real job, 35 years. But I also, uh, community advocacy is my love and uh, been doing it since the early 80s and I can't stop now. But I'm gonna go ahead on and get out of the way. Uh, again, um, this is the DCN Real Talk, happenings of uh, the week of September 6th. Uh, beginning uh, the day after Labor Day. Uh, attended the Edgecombe County Commissioners meeting where they discussed the uh, Nash Edgecombe Public Schools mer demerger. So on Tuesday night, the Edgecombe County Board of Commissioners voted 5 to 1 for the Nash Edgecombe County Schools Public, Nash Edgecombe County Public Schools demerger. Um, if you've been keeping up with it, they voted back in July against it, but they brought it back on the agenda this past Tuesday. The uh, regular monthly meeting normally be on uh, Monday, but by Monday was a holiday, Labor Day, they had it on Tuesday. But uh, the commissioners this time voted five to one. Um, it was four to three the last time. It's five to one this time with one um, my commissioner, uh, Boswell, being absent. Um, it was the chair, Leonard Wiggins, um, the vice chair, Wayne Hines, Commissioner Viola Harris, and Commissioner Ralph Webb, they all voted for, and Bobby Wooten, the other commissioner, was the lone vote against. Um, I just learned that uh, Donnell Cannon, who was the executive director of the district transition and redesign team um, as it relates to the merger, has left the district to go to work in uh, Durham, North Carolina. Now, um, I was kind of taken back from some of the conversations and some of the things I've been hearing, especially uh, last week, um, when I heard about the campaign asking folk to come to the county commission meeting to vote against the demerger. Now, <laughs> it, 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 it's a damn shame that Bronson Williams, WNCR TV, and Pastor Neil My Smith co hosts staged the campaign to tell folks to go to the commission meeting to tell them to vote no for the Nash Edgecombe Public School demerger. I have not heard of them going to the see Nash County Commissioners led by Robbie Davis to ask them to stop the demerger. But since they don't want Rocky Mountain name on anything and they took Rocky Mountain off Nash Rocky Mountain Public Schools, that ain't happening. See what Bronson had to say and then see what Passer had to say. This was so embarrassing that a Passer would call folk jackasses but try to do it in such a way that he felt it should have been acceptable. Why is this dude still the pastor at that church? Where was the Eastern North Carolina Ministerial Alliance led by Bishop Shelton Daniels, president? But Pastor Nehemiah Smith is the vice president. Why is the church not taking a stand and actually engaged in the demerger? When you have all these children that uh, either um, are part of the churches or their parents, grandparents, or whoever. Now I'm sick and tired of watching folk misleading folk 
with half truths and lies. I have been actively engaged in documenting the means via video so that folk can make an informed decision. Unlike some folk who are media but only share their opinions and not documenting opinions from the folk involved. It is a damn shame that the local TV stations have morning talk shows that is full of mess. The same folk call in every day with foolishness and very little news you can use. Both TV stations are really pushing their own political agenda and do not have the community at heart. Some talk about unity and bringing the community together, especially some young folk who have recently got elected to the Rocky Mountain City Council. They think that they can use children to say they are uniting the community. Name one thing they have done to unite black folk and white folk. They can't because racist white folk don't want to unite. Where's WHIG TV? They normally um, cover the meetings, but I'm quite sure they found out that um, they felt like that their vote was going to be different this time, so they probably won't there for that purpose. But I don't know. That's my opinion. I bet my videos do not get posted to fighting crime, another, mm, Lord Jesus, in hood news. However, it did, it did make it on WRAL, uh, a portion of a, of a, of my video. I know Councilman T.J. Walker is on the demerger committee, but where was he on Tuesday night? Maybe he had something to do? Oh, well, and fine. Where was J. Kelly Walker? Oh, they say they, oh, they say they are about the children. Here we go, 1,700 children, but it's easy to go to a community center where young folk hang out either on their own or because of some special programs that be offered. Now is the time, that was, Monday, Tuesday night was the time to speak up and speak out. Where was Reverend Roosevelt Higgs who used my address at the July meeting? Somebody said, he said on WNCR TV that he was going to be at the meeting at 630 and said, Bronson, you know why. What I do know is that he was not at the meeting. I don't know whether he met with the uh, commissioners, whomever, and he couldn't be there. I know uh, when I had discussed it with them, they were saying the only thing they could do is, uh, um, you know, stop him from coming to the meeting. Hey, that's what I want because I get sick of foolishness when he comes to a meeting and, and speak up. Now go to the Camilla's Nancy, Bridge Nancy the Second Facebook page or to Camilla's Bridge Nancy the Second. YouTube page to learn some history from several of the speakers whom spoke during the public comments during the commissioner's meeting and to see videos of all of the previous meetings. Um, it was some very good speakers. Uh, um, Evelyn Wilson from the school board, Evelyn Bullock from uh, Nash Rocky Mount. Well, let me take that back. Nash Public Schools, not Rocky Mount anymore. Uh, Evelyn Wilson is from Edgecombe County. Uh, Reverend Privet. Uh, a couple more spoke, even the superintendent. I know a hell of a lot more than what folks think I know, but I let other media outlets and others put it out there first. I ain't trying to be first. I'm just trying to get the facts out there. But you see, it should come from law enforcement at the scene or whatever uh, 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 um, um, the news is coming from according to what the situation is. So it's time for good folk to begin to hold folk accountable for their actions. We must challenge folk who are spreading half-truths and lies. Look at the video and see how black leadership are being attacked by black folk who are playing upon folk intelligence for their own self selfish motives. My best friend lived in Virginia. He died almost one year ago, uh, oldest Connell Barnes, when I could uh, uh, talk to, call him anytime, and uh, he'll be a listening ear. Now, I have not replaced him and never will, so unless you are one of my resources, you may want to, you may want to check yourself. I have folks depending on me to speak truth to power, and I can do that because I speak the, to the facts as presented. If I should error, I will make the necessary corrections because I stand to be corrected. It is about accountability. I refuse to be silent when it comes to issues and folks. So from this day forward, I will be responding to folk when I know they are spreading half truths and lies. I have no permanent friends, no permanent enemies, and only permanent interests. 
So check out um, Teresa Austin Stokes Facebook page to see what is going on in and around Rocky Mount. She be out capturing, capturing the Hamlet's live and playing it back so you can make your own informed decision just like I do. Thank you, Teresa Austin, for all the work you do in and around Rocky Mount, especially Rocky Mount. Okay, a couple of announcements. Uh, the Rocky Mount City Council regular monthly meeting just today. At, uh, uh, what is it? This is the second Tuesday, so it'll be at 7 o'clock. And the committee of the whole meeting is probably around 4 or 5. I, I, I forgot to look up the agenda. You have a Tyler City Council regular monthly meeting today. So there's two meetings going on in the county that people need to uh, get involved and see what's going on. And most of all, hold people accountable, yourself, your elected officials, and whomever. But we have got to stop allowing folk to discredit, mislead, uh, intentionally, I want to add intentionally, um, um, uh, trying to discredit our black leadership. Now, I'm not saying you need to support uh, folk in their wrong, and we are not going to all agree on everything all the time. You support them on that which is right, and you call them out on that which is wrong. But you can't call them out if you don't have the facts. So you got to get involved. You can't just read the newspaper. Because the, re the newspaper is uh, 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 written, but my videos don't lie. You look at my videos, and you will see what happened in real time, and you can make your own informed decision. So again, um, that is Real Talk from the DCN, Dancing Communication Network, where I provide an alternative news source out of pocket. Um, Went to work this morning at 6 o'clock, got off at 10, uh, uh, work with Slack, so uh, I'll make up the rest of the week. Um, uh, probably 10 hours a day, I've been working a lot of overtime, and uh, on the weekend voluntarily, so, you know, I'm out here now. I said I had a little time. I will come out, do a live, and uh, let people know, give them an update on the, the merger. I was in Abel yesterday, and I heard some people talking, and one guy said, uh, uh, they're gonna demer they're gonna uh, the demerging went through. The other said lady said no it didn't, and I had to chip in. And I said yes, chime in, and I said yes it did. They voted two tonight, so I'm gonna shut it down. I won't take too much of your time. I know y'all got a busy schedule, and um, I'm gonna um, show you um, what's going up in Tarboro, North Carolina. So let me turn the camera around and let you see. What is going on in Tarbell? I reckon I need to take my cover off so you can see. The uh, sun might kind to be bad, I don't know. But right here you have uh, Starbucks coming in Tarbell. Like they're on the way. Like it won't be long. And then over here on this side, you have Tractor Supply. And they are moving right along. So again, you have tractor supply coming to Tarboro, uh out by the Walmart, and you have Starbucks, which is out by the Walmart, that sits right beside the cookout. And I think the first of the year, we will have a, a tidal wave car wash coming to Tarboro, and it'll be uh, directly behind all these things are both jangles and um, tidal wave will be going up beside both jangles. That'll be good to me because I have been going to the one in Rocky Mount and that kind of side. And so when it comes to Tarboro, I can spend my money every week. Uh, I got the month to pass so I can spend my money in Tarboro, Edgecombe County. I spent enough in that County and I still will have to. Because I'm over there every day. I've been working over there for 35 years. And, um, you know, some things you just have to go places. Tarboro, well, Rocky Mount, Greenville, Wilson, wherever. Well, I thank you all for tuning in to the DCN Real Talk. And I know some folks probably won't like it. But, you know, it doesn't matter. I am about justice, no matter who is for or against. And like I said earlier, 
I have no permanent friends, no permanent enemies, only permanent interests. And my interest is for, as I have been doing for years, is trying to do what I can to help make Edge Home and surrounding counties a better place to live, work, and play at my experience. So if you want to help out, you can uh, send donations to me. My cash out is the dollar sign, the DCN, and my address is P.O. Box 1391, Pine Tops, North Carolina, 27864. Got two nice donations last week. But let me tell you something. That's why I work like I do. Because if the donations don't come in, hey, I ain't worried about it. God okay, got my back. So y'all have a good evening. And I may see you again this afternoon. Because I may come back live again. Enjoyed it. Love it. Love doing stuff for my people. And I want to close out with when we as black folk do better, everybody benefits. So y'all have a good day.